Hi, I'm Emma with the Moon Society. Before we colonise the Moon, we'll need to develop the methodology to do so. We'll need to work out and practice how we'll survive up there, here on Earth. Analogues are facilities that stand in for those that we'll establish on the Moon. One analogue is the University of Arizona Controlled Environment Agriculture Centre, a greenhouse at the South Pole. Lane Patterson of the University of Arizona and Phil Sadler of Sadler Engineering are working on this analogue. Antarctica, the South Pole is where we have our chamber that we've built at the U of A with the U of A Controlled Environment Ag Center. And we are operating it through the staff there and through students that go down. Lane Patterson here spent a winter operating the South Pole Greenhouse. The South Pole is an isolated station in the middle of Antarctica that only has access to about four and a half months to the outside world. The rest of the time they're, they're completely isolated. The planes stop flying when it gets too cold and the greenhouse was to provide fresh salad crops for the crews that stuck there because the salad crops don't keep for eight and a half months. In 2006, when I was operating the South Pole Food Growth Chamber, some of the data that I was taking was directly related to what would be needed for a biological life support system. A biological life support system for the moon or otherwise uh, cycles materials that are essential to life and there are about or at least a minimum of 16 elements that are essential to all of life and of all those elements three make up 90 percent of all living things. That's hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon. Hydrogen and oxygen in the form of water, H2O, and gaseous oxygen, O2, and then carbon dioxide, CO2. And so in a biological life support system, these elements can be cycled, and then the rest of the materials that are necessary uh, can just be taken along for the ride. The South Pole Food Growth Chamber is a hydroponic system where carbon dioxide is injected uh, automatically when the plants need it. So those numbers that I got while I was there at the South Pole were used to develop a, uh, a biological life support system model. And what that model is telling us, what we're learning from that model, is that the weight of an average American male, 189 pounds, if you were to take that much hydroponic nutrient solution with you to the moon, that would keep you breathing in a biological life support system for about a year, that same person. So the rest of the elements that are essential to life, the macro and micronutrients and others, those can be taken with the astronaut while hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon, or water, CO2, and, and, and oxygen, all be cycled through a hydroponic life support system. So about a, a third of a kilogram of dry nutrient hydroponic salts can keep a person breathing or cycle a kilogram of carbon dioxide and a 0.8 kilograms of oxygen and that's that's enough for one person one day. <laughs>